tell me, you guys, what are some of the biggest threats? What are some of the biggest threats here in the United States? What are happening? What are some of our biggest threats? Uh -huh. Gun control. What are some other threats that we have? What, are, what do you guys think are our biggest threats? Uh -huh. Okay, fossil fuels, jeopardizing the water, even with Shoney. Fracking. What are some other threats, huh? Prison system. Ah, we are talking about that. Institutional racism. Institutional racism. Systematic. Ooh, we'll have to talk about that. All right. So, of people of color in the government. Lack of, okay, so we got all these issues that we know are the biggest, are threats to the United States of America. Can I ask you what, out of everything that was said, can you tell me what you think the biggest threat to this nation is? 45. Besides 45. <laughs> Besides 45. Okay. Lack of justice. I am going to tell you, ladies and gents, that everything, I did hear someone say it initially, but I didn't repeat it. I'm going to tell you that the biggest threat to the United States of America, at least, is racism. That is the biggest threat to this nation. And I am going to go as far as to be bold enough to say, don't you let nobody tell you that it's not. Because it is. Right now, we are in crisis. We are in crisis. And I'm going to say that Amina's message resonated with me because as since Standing Rock, and I am not going to get into Standing Rock because I didn't get to go. I didn't get to go because it ended before I could go and give our indigenous relations the support that I wanted to give them. I will say that I have noticed that even prior to Standing Rock, there has always been a cry out from the indigenous community. But it took Standing Rock for even, for, it took Standing Rock for me to even recognize the crisis that we were in in this nation. African American voices, our voices have always been heard. They just have not been well received. They're only well received during February. I mean, you know, February, we can say whatever we want, and I bet you we can go out right now, we can probably riot, we can have a march, and everybody's like, that's right, it is February, it's okay, it is well justified, but after the 28th and 29th, it's done, it's a wrap. But I will say that the cries are getting louder, and they're getting louder. They've always been loud, and they've always been, and they've always resonated. But the problem, not the problem, get it. The problem has been is if they get too loud, they get suppressed by violence, sometimes reasoning, um, sometimes the dangling of the carrot, and we get a little bite of the tip of it, and we get complacent, and we get happy, and we go into our respective community. 